With an underground system that in some locations extended almost 200 miles, accessed by trap doors with hidden openings, the American forces never saw them coming. This combined with their stealth-like ability to blend in with a native habitat and move without making a sound, obliterated American forces. In addition to historical instances, the guerrilla approach still creates problems for America that linger today. The Taliban have all but perfected the use of the ambush, for example, and are adept at opening fire and then blending in with the local population, disappearing unseen to where it's safe so that they can attack again. They are understanding the approaches that work thanks to Soviet and American tactical-based literature and the information provided by watchful local informants. Combined, these have created a deadly and worthy opponent. Guerrilla warfare is an unconventional warfare at the hands of a typically smaller group working in opposition to a larger, more traditional force. As has been described, it can be extraordinarily effective as groups who wait and hide, who ambush and surprise, who lurk in the shadows or beneath the surface, have the obvious upper hand. As guerrillas prove, there is much more that contributes to the outcome of battle than numbers or technology alone.